Right, in this video, I'm going to go over how I actually physically welded the uh, exhaust from my previous video. Previous video, I went into preparations and the tactics involved, and uh, the result was it was success, but I couldn't actually film the actual welding process, uh, process itself. The reason being is because the welding light would have been too intense for my camera. I did put on a welding shield on the camera but it just didn't pick up anything so I'm going to quickly go over how I did it so when I begun it pretty much kind of looked like this um, the end of the exhaust this is the end that's attached to the car completely rusted as you can see there's some of this silver bits is from the old paint job I sprayed on um, so the back end, the silencer end is completely on the floor, you know, it completely fell off. Now the, the problem is, all this rust needs cleaning off, and uh, you'll see in a second, after I cleaned it off, it was still quite rusty. And after I attached the other end of the MIG welder to this exhaust, I couldn't get any kind of sparks off it, so it wasn't, wasn't actually conducting electricity because it was so rusty. So I first job was to clean it off. Oh, the other end looked like this. So uh, previously, where I'd actually used some sort of welding paste to uh, kind of just hold it in place and hopefully it didn't fall off or something like um, some sort of very strong bonding glue like Kevlar. Even that doesn't work. Just to keep it there. But I didn't actually know it was rusting away. But it rusted away. You see flakes of all the old kind of stuff so all that needs cleaning off so as you can see it's all kind of jaggedy rusty some of this would be completely rusted and completely useless so what well, i'll be left with, left with after i put clean this all off would be like a big gap even though i stuck it together right after i cleaned out as much as i could using wire brush on this um this end that's still on the car it's still kind of pretty bad and uh, you know, I was struggling. I couldn't get a spark off it. So all I tried to do is clean, clean one tiny area down, really, really, really a lot. Uh, so oh yeah, I can't. I remember just aiming for a spot that was kind of clean and just trying to make a really big weld. And it did spark eventually. Trying to make a really big blob of weld. In fact, probably better using a white color so a big blob of silvery white in fact gray would be better wouldn't it it's a big blob of built up big blob somewhere of weld I wonder what I'm going to make this look like weld dry kind of gray and um, I'm just trying all different colors they're kind of rusty make it blue so it's not rusty at all now right so I try and build I built up a uh, a welding blob and on the other side of the or well, the other end on the exhaust end I built up the same kind of welding blob and I'm going to go back to the other picture and I did the same thing where I thought the other blob was the location of it. I kind of found like a nook and cranny, this tiny spot, uh, the tiny bit of electric, uh, bare metal on it. So I did the same thing. And I kind of put the two halves together and I used a, um, a pair of stands. And this is where this you can just see here, you can just see here. one blob and the second blob there and nothing's been welded yet uh, I mean to each other so what I then did because I had two kind of blobs of weld close together I kind of used the art well the not the art welder the MIG welder to quickly weld this bit and then quickly weld this bit and then I kind of just sort of went backwards and forwards backwards and forwards and lo and behold, this whole lot kind of melted into one. Then I actually, 
at that point he was strong enough to kind of stick, stick around on his own without collapsing the two halves kind of stay together believe it or not so I then because I'd really so imagine this area was the built up area that you know I went to the edge of it I'm going to use a slightly light colour went to the edge of it and I kind of went oh right let's build on one build a blob up here build a blob up here sort of I'm piggybacking off this main one that's been conducting electricity and I kind of just went oh let's just kind of do that weld these two together and because this one had been this one's still in conducting electricity just end here I mean, imagine all this is still rusty right and, and the heat is doing some kind of a, having some kind of effect on it as well cleaning it up so I kind of did that and I kind of did this I did this kept building up and as they got closer together I kind of did that and as you can see I kind of continued and you can see what I've done and anywhere there was like a gap in between like right here I just kind of built that one up as well built that one up and I kind of just went further and further closer and closer to each other and I just went in the end I just did that uh, so I had you can see I've got loads of kind of lines there and the reason I chose this or what because normally the, the weld is like this isn't it if you try and uh, mig weld anything imagine you've got I'll use a different colour imagine you've got a bigger kind of brush as well imagine you've got that kind of thing the welds kind of look like that don't they when people weld well they're, they're pushing the other way but that's the way I'm drawing it it kind of looks like that but I don't think that would have been that would have, that would have held together these two separate parts that's why I opted for like a like a like a line kind of thing this sort of shape give it the best kind of strength um there was a part where there was a big hole as well on i can't see it in this picture there was a big old big old gash on it when, when this half had been done i turned around and had a look from the other side and there was like a big gash like that and i just went and did the same sort of thing changing color did that did that and i kind of welded out and i thought this is never going to work and it did next to it I built that up and i built that up and the heat was kind of destroying the rust as it went along I kind of went closer and closer did that and I thought wow this is working did that built up a big blob built up a big blob and then kind of built, got two together and then whoop, and then I kind of did that and then I did this and I filled up the holes built up a big blob built up a big blob and got them closer and closer together and I kind of just gradually filled it up like that alright so this is a quick video on how I physically did it because I couldn't actually film the thing without damaging the camera I hope this kind of helps uh, so I was surprised how well it worked using my MIG welder and my MIG welder was set on low wire speed because the wire comes through the cable instead of um, what happens is like a little pulley that pulls a wire through and I've got it at a kind of really slow speed and a low kind of voltage as well uh, so I tried it at a high voltage and it was just sparking like mad it wouldn't work uh, very well couldn't build up a weld so I tried it on a low what, low power setting and it worked really well alright so if you think this is helpful just um, hit the like button if you're already a subscriber then thank you for being a subscriber and watching this if you've got any comments please just leave them below and uh, if, 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 if I can answer them in a reasonable way and they're because they're a reasonable question, I'll try and answer them. Thank you very much for watching.